What's going on? So there's many ways that you can cook trout after catching them and my personal favorite way for cooking trout is using a smoker. So that's what we're going to do today and I'm going to show you a simple way that you can follow along and prep your trout using ingredients that you can find in almost any kitchen or pantry. Alright, so this is a pretty simple recipe for a brine. Start off by adding one quart of cold water or four cups. Also add one third cup of brown sugar. This is half a cup of Morton salt. Just whisk this all together until it dissolves. Place your trout in a non-metallic bowl for 30 minutes to two hours. All right, so while we're brining, I'm gonna get my smoker rolling to about 175. All right, so we're at the point where we wanna pull our trout from the fridge. We're gonna dry them off and then prep them for the rack. And uh, while we're doing this, our smoker is getting out to temperature out there. So I'm just going to put these out on a little paper towel. I'm a really big fan of that smoky flavor. So what I'm going to show you next is a great way to utilize toothpicks in order to trap some of that smoke inside of your trout fillets. So basically what I like to do is get a toothpick and then just open up these fillets. Stick one side of the toothpick in one side of the fillet and one in the other. That way when it cooks, that smoke is going to touch every surface of the meat. Alright, so we're prepped. That's it. We'll run out to the smoker real quick. After two hours at 170, it's time to take the first look at the trout. So right away, they've got nice color. Very nice color. I like to peel the skin a little bit and if it comes right off the meat, that's a good indication that these trout are ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these and I'll see you inside. All right, we're back inside and these trout look so tasty, check it out. Some very nice color on them. And one way that I like to eat smoked trout is a smoked trout dip. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that. You can follow along, or you can just check out the recipe in the description of this video. All right, so I'm gonna show you one of my favorite ways to make smoked trout dip. I'm gonna break out the food processor for this one. First things first, process your trout. This is hand caught trout, so I've pulled out all the pin bones, and I'm just gonna add that to the food processor first. I've diced one shallot. This is about a tablespoon of green onions. Some fresh dill. Don't be shy, this is one of the best parts. Um, I've got half of a lemon. Put some lemon juice in there. Add about a teaspoon of capers. This is an optional ingredient, but it's a delicious one. 
Add about a teaspoon or two of some prepared horseradish. I've got a third of a cup of sour cream. A half cup of mayonnaise. Add just a pinch of salt. Some crushed black pepper. And this is some smoked paprika. Just give this a few pulses. Alright, now that we have everything blended together, let's just get it in a bowl. Alright, best way to serve it is on some crackers or toast points or whatever you have. There it is. Let's try it out. Oh man. You guys. That is so good. The lemon and the horseradish and the capers with the fresh dill. Man, I guarantee this will be the best recipe on the internet. All right, thanks for watching today's episode. If you like this recipe, go ahead and bookmark this video. I'll leave the ingredients in the description of the video. And if you try this recipe yourself and find that you like it, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.